Hello? Hello. Do you let anybody in this house ask you who it is? I thought you were going to be breakfast. Do you know what? What? John's never asked me to see the WSC High Donor Database. What? He's never asked to see the High Donor Database. Or any other mailing list. So how do you like them apples? I just went to sleep about two hours ago. You can keep using me. Is the sun even up right now? I just thought you should know. No, no it's not. Those pajamas are too big for you. What makes you say that? Because you cut the bottoms off. Yeah, because they're too big for me. What are you even doing here? <sighs> Demonstrating once and for all that John is not using me to get the women's vote. Huh. You're flaky. You know that? You're quite the flake. Not once has he asked to see the database. Not once. <sighs> I was done with this fight a month ago, okay? He never asked us to sponsor a fundraiser for him. It's, it's early. It's too early. <laughs> it's January. You think it's too early to start raising money? No, I'm saying it is 5 o'clock in the morning early. I offered him a slot to speak about safe haven laws. He declined. He doesn't even take photo ops with me. He always takes photo ops with you. Yes, yes he does, but he doesn't run them in his congressional newsletter. So how do you like them apples? We're going to stop with the apples soon, right? And to permit that you're wrong and that his relationship has nothing to do with politics. <sighs> okay, I admit it. You mean it. No, of course I'm right. Your relationship has everything to do with politics. He's a power dater. That's what power daters do. You know how I know? Because you're a power dater? That's right. Well, you know how I know that you're wrong? Because you looked in his eyes and saw his soul and confronted him in a moment of on honesty. That's right. <laughs> then he was sure to tell you the truth. He didn't have to. Why? Because he asked me to marry him. How do you like them? He asked you, you to marry him. And now you're here to convince me to get you out of it. I don't need you to talk me out of it. I already said no. Oh. Good. And then I told him that I think we should stop seeing each other for a while. Really? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Now you're nervous. No, no I'm not nervous. <laughs> Josh. We spent four nights together. I didn't break up with him to get back with you. I'm not some stalker woman who just does things. Okay, actually, we spent six nights together. What are you counting? I'm counting all of them. It was four. It was six. But anyways, he just up and proposed to you? Yes, Hamlet. It's called being decisive. No, Ophelia. It's called a political asset. What does it matter now? doesn't. What, so that's all you have to say about this? Well, how about you just call me in 30 seconds on your cell phone? You know, for the most insecure man I've ever met, you're pretty sure of yourself. Go on, go call me on your cell phone. That's where most of our conversations take place anyway. You really can't afford pajama set fit? It's laundry day. <laughs>